Okay, today we're going to talk about grouping and nesting. Um, and this is a way to uh, add some functionality to cascading style sheets and then also uh, make it easier to enter in lots of different codes. So the first thing we're going to talk about is grouping. Um, and what we can see here is I've already put in some code. And you can see that I'm specifying here's the color for H1, here's a color for H2, here's a color for um, my paragraph tag. And what we're saying is I'm, I'm giving each one of these a color of green. Well, you know, it feels kind of redundant. So what I can do, the first thing we want to do is I can replace these three separate rules with a grouped rule. And what I'm doing there is I want to say H1, H2, and P all have the same uh, selector and declaration, selector of color and declaration of green, okay? So I can do that and you can see that it's going to have the same impact, which is going to have, it's going to take any of my H1s, H2s, and H3Ps um, and make them green. So see this, right? All right, great. Um, the other thing that we want to do is we want to uh, talk about um, nesting and nesting is where I can define a specific uh, rule for a, a tag in one type of situation but a different one in another situation so let me show you what that means so here we say we want to create three different rules one we want to make paragraph color of green and text align center so let's do this um, let's just take this out of here and let's do paragraph is color and we'll make it blue uh, well we'll make it blue instead and then we're gonna do text align text align center okay so if I do that great works the way I want it to And then, let me narrow this a little bit. I want to give myself a little bit more room. All right. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to say that I want to give a specific class, um, and I'm going to call that marked. <clears throat> and so in this one, I'm going to give marked a background color. of forest green. And I'm going to give that a color of white. Okay. And so then I'm going to say here, I'm going to give this All right, and so I'm going to call that marked. Now, what would we expect to have happen here? Um, it's going to inherit the color blue, and it's going to inherit the text align center, but I'm adding a specific class, so it's then this specific one uh, is going to have a um, uh, the background color of forest green and the color of white. Okay, and actually, let me change that around a little bit because I want to change this. I'm going to create this as a div class. And so what would a div class have? A div class is going to have background color forest green and it's going to have a color of white. But because it's not a um, paragraph, it's not going to inherit any of the other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to make the class marked and then I'm going to make the background color of green and then the color of white. And when I do that, I can click save work and show web page. right now what would happen in this situation if I then said now what I want is that anything within the marked class right with anything that's within this marked class that is also a paragraph I want that to be um, the font color of let's say red okay so in this situation I now am going to create a, it's my new marked paragraph, but I'm also going to create a paragraph here, 
and we'll say um, my specific uh, marked paragraph. And so what that should do is it's going to inherit the color blue text alignment from here, but then it's going to change that and be red because it's going to, as we say, we talk about cascading, right? So then I'm going to be replacing it. So then any paragraph that's within the marked class, which is defined up here, is going to have these specific characteristics. And this is what we're talking about when we're talking about nested. This is a nested uh, rule, okay? This is this rule for the paragraph here is nested within the um, nested within the uh, marked class. All right, so let's see if that works the way we expect it to, and it does, right? So it changes this specifically. It still lays within the division or the divider um, that makes it a uh, green background, but because it is nested. Uh, I can create a nested uh, rule as well, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to group the three different selectors like we did, and then I want you to create three different rules. One for a paragraph of the color green, then one for a rule, uh, a marked class, and then inside I want you to put uh, rules for a P element that's nested within that marked class.